the Dope Academy. She got the streets on lock. What up, what up, what up, what up? Where are we here? We hey, mate. Hey, here. mate. We, we live. Got like Channel Motherfucking we Five. Got it's your boy, CEO Latino. CEO of YSLO, baby. Y'all know what's going on. We in this bitch. Latino, what's been going on, man? A whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Working. You feel what I'm saying? Not 24 7, 25 8 on the grind. You feel what I'm saying? New music on the way. You feel what I'm saying? Your boy just blessed and highly favored. I just recently put out my uh, newest visual to my uh, single title, Check. Feel what I'm saying? So y'all definitely go check that out. It's dope as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? And right now, we currently working on chapter 23. Chapter motherfucking 23, baby. That's what's important right now. Chapter 23. I done put out two classic records that's doing damn good right now, and they doing numbers. So just imagine what the next single finna do before the actual project come out. They been waiting on the project. But you finna get a single, then the project is structured. It's structured. I'm, it's strategic, man. It's strategic as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I'm really playing it by, I'm, I'm really playing it by the ear. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm watching what's going on and I'm just sitting back like, okay, I know when it's time to finally make my move. You feel what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say shit. I ain't one of them type of people that tell people my move. I feel like that's where you fuck up at, telling everybody what you got going on, telling them, showing your money, you feel all it. You don't got to do all that, you feel what I'm saying? When you make your move, make your next move your best move and just fuck them up when you make it. It's simple. I love it. That's how I do it. So I see you got the, your merch thing going. YSLO. Young Strong Leaders Organization. Brand name, baby. I'm a walking brand, you feel me? How's that brand. going for you? It's going pretty good, honestly. Like, I made a decision back in 2017, like if I'm gonna do this shit, I gotta push myself. Like, I gotta push myself as the brand, cause I am the brand. Once people buy into me, they're gonna automatically buy whatever the fuck I'm selling. You feel what I'm saying? But they had to see Lil Tino, the real Lil Tino, not no fake shit that most people present. The real authentic me, not perfect. Just what you see is what you get, you feel what I'm saying? And once I got people to buy into that, you feel what I'm saying? They automatic, automatically start buying the product, you know what I'm saying? And I, right now I just have shirts and I have hoodies, you feel what I'm saying? But I'm about to start doing different shit from hats, you know what I'm saying, socks. I already got my own, go get the money socks, but I only got my own pair, but we about to really take it to the next level, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I know people, I know people wanna walk around with a YSLO hat, you feel what I'm saying? Or a, y, a YSLO wristband, you feel what I'm saying? They gonna feel even, even better just off of wearing that and knowing it represents something so powerful, young, strong, and you a fucking leader. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't really hear that much, you feel what I'm saying? So. You getting it all in one, and it's TRIO. It's a TRIO organization that stand on leadership, ownership, and structure. Fucked you up, Danny. Structure. It started with structure, man. For real. Because I'm an entrepreneur myself. You know what I'm saying? I definitely have my opinion on things. But I'm asking you, like, how do you feel, you know, being a businessman and, you know, dealing with people and, you know, the bullshit that comes along with being an entrepreneur? Right, right. Oh. So how do you handle that? Yo, do you even have, do you even get that? Yeah, for sure. I, I deal with that shit daily. Like, but you got to know how to deal with people. I'm a people's person, but at the same time, I like my peace. But when it come down to having to deal with people and do business with people, I have to know when to flip that switch on and flip it off. So when I'm dealing with you and it's about business, the switch is on. That's CEO you dealing with. You feel what I'm saying? So if you come to me and say, hey, I would like to buy your hoodie. How much is your hoodie? My hoodie It's $40. You feel what I'm saying? And whoa, that's too much. Forty dollars, man. We, let's 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 start. Let's 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 talk about this. When we just talked about this, Ivy, you got people that are standing in line, sixty to eighty or even more black people are standing in line at seven in the morning to buy a pair of fucking Jordans. Five. Five to buy a pair of Jordans that's two three hundred dollars, and you come to me. Complaining about a hoodie that's forty fucking dollars, and you gonna spend that same forty dollars within that same day. I don't get that, but at the same time, it's like I can respect it. You don't want to support your people. That's why I'm starting my own movement called Proud, Proudly Support Black Owned Businesses. You feel what I'm saying? Like do it proudly. Don't do it because you feel like you have to. Do it because you really want to see that person get to the next level, or you just want to bless that person. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it's about, and I feel like once people get to that, bro, everybody'll be on the, everybody'll be on a, on a, on a bigger scale. Like we'll be able to really pop our shit then and do some shit then. But when you got people trying to get you to down, downgrade your prices, like how is that gonna help me grow? You feel what I'm saying? Like how are you gonna help this business grow if every time you come to them you want a discount? That's like me going to fucking Walmart. 
and buying. I'm just gonna like. I like ice cream, so I go. I go to. I go to Walmart to get my Blue Bell, bro. I know the, the Blue Bell about two dollars and fifty-seven cents. That's like me going to them saying, "Hey, look, take that fifty-seven cent off. Let me just pay that two dollars." Nigga, who the fuck is you? Like you ain't nobody, like bro. This the price. It's a set price. Either you gonna buy it or walk your ass up out of Walmart. So when you come to me or when you come to Avi, it's the same way. Like don't try to tell us the. Don't 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 come to us on no downgrade no prices, man. It, it don't work like that. You can't go to MLGW and do that shit. So you can't come to CEO Latino nor Ivy Kings and do that shit, bro. It's yeah, not. You're definitely not doing this shit. Bro. It's not happening. Shit costs too, by the way. That's another reason why the shit is what it is. We actually have to pay for this shit out of pocket, so it costs us. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not saying we trying to get over on y'all, but we still trying to grow as a business, an independent business at that. That's all I'm saying. So. Hey, I'm starting to move. I'm starting to move. Proudly support black-owned businesses, man. For real. YSLO Young Strong Leaders Organization is a brand name. And we got it. We got what you need. You feel what I'm saying? We're not trying to get over. We're just trying to help everybody. You feel what I'm saying? We're trying to help everybody grow. And we actually support other people. Support other businesses at that. It's facts. All right, so is there any schools that you didn't get last year that you're going to get this year? Honestly, it was a couple schools that I wanted to stop by. You feel what I'm saying? That I still, we're going to make sure we get to them for sure. South Wind High School. Whitehaven High School, uh, White Station High School, and honestly, it's probably one more school that I feel like I want to get to. But for the most part, I mean, we still putting it together. You feel what I'm saying? If we don't make it happen this year, next year for sure is going down. Go get the money school tour part three. Get ready because we're going to do it for sure. I mean that. Man, the one thing I like about you, man, is your drive, man, and your passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of artists don't have that. Like, how did you become that person? Like as far as the passion behind the music and the hustle, because everybody don't have the hustle you have. Facts. I had to. I had to fail. You know. I feel like once you, once you fail, not just once but a few times, and you actually learn from your failures, you can't do shit but rise and succeed. You feel what I'm saying? So me, starting from the bottom and, you know, just taking what I what I had from right then. And just understanding, like, I got to grow. You know what I'm saying? I got to grow with this shit, whether if it was music or whether if it was basketball. Because basketball was my first love, you feel what I'm saying? But I fucked my chances up with basketball during my high school years. And that's when music kind of came in and saved my fucking life, you feel what I'm saying? It really did. So that's, and put it like this. With basketball, I feel like I didn't go all out like I should have. You feel what I'm right. saying? I should have, I, I was giving it. 75% when you supposed to give it over 100%. So everything I feel like I didn't do with basketball, I'm going to do that and some with the music. So if I didn't win any awards with basketball, I'm going to win some with the music. And I done already won three, and I've been nominated 14 times. You feel what I'm saying? So it's going to happen for sure. Like, it's, it's got to happen. No other way. So how old were you when you recorded your first song? Good question. 17. 17. And it was called... From the bottom, I recorded two songs that day. I remember because this was my first time going to the studio, a real studio like this one. I recorded a song called "Change Gonna Come," and there was another song I recorded called "Started From the Bottom." And I, I dedicated those songs to Lil Snoop, who's an uh, artist from Jonesboro. If y'all know who he is, a dope ass artist who got killed a week later when he turned 18, and he was uh, he just got signed to Meek Mill. You feel what I'm saying? Dope ass artist. You feel what I'm saying? When that happened to him, that really fucked me up. But so he's from Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. I did not fucking know that. That fucked me up, bro. Fuck me up. Fuck me up. That's man. crazy. Still to this. So, artists, they let you know right there, like, they looking. Oh, for sure. Like, they been looking. So, like, y'all steal y'all shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Never know, might get picked up. I'm trying to tell you. Stop playing with your boy. So, that was your homeboy. He wasn't my homeboy, but it was me watching him and me learning what happened. Like, that. That brought me into his world. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know nothing about Lil Snoop till my homeboy just showed me who he was. And I was like, damn, he died. But I saw a battle he did when T.I. and Meek Mill and them was all in one room. The mind ate that artist's ass up. You feel what I'm saying? And since, I, like, that's all I needed to see. Like, I just started following his movement even after he got killed. You feel what I'm saying? I was still, I was still listening to the music, supporting it to the fullest because... It'll never be another little Snoop. You feel what I'm saying? I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like it don't. It, you don't run across too many artists like that. That's just talented. That that can, that can freestyle like that, and that can make you feel them and relate to their story, bro. Like he laid that shit down, like no other way. Like that shit was dope, for real.